to the daily news updates on Remo TV, your number one source for local stories in Remo Land. I am Naomi Eugene. First, the headlines. Ogun State Governor Dr. Abiodun launches Bemiga Abiodun Memorial Education Program and grants 550 students scholarships in Remo Land. Four die and three injured in Lagos Ibadan Expressway auto crash. Sports in Lagos tops NPFL table after two matches. On the Shambi Day 2023, Quinton is crowned Miss Ishambi 2023 in Spectacular Pageant Show. Let's take a short break and we'll be right back. Welcome back. Here's the news in full. Ogun State Governor, His Excellency Prince Dakwa Biodo has instituted a scholarship award scheme for 550 indigent students in Remo Federal Constituency of the state in honor of his late son, Bimga Abiodo, who died six years ago. The governor in a statement on his official X account said, Today marks a somber anniversary in my life, the day my beloved son, Bimga Abiodo, departed this world. Though the pain of his absence remains, it is also a day to remember the legacy he left behind. In honor of his memory, we will be inaugurating the Bimiga Abiodun Memorial Education Program. This program will serve as a lasting tribute to his legacy, with the aim of providing educational opportunities and support to underprivileged children and indigent learners in public primary, secondary, technical colleges and tertiary institutions, as well as special need learners within Ikene, Remo North, and Shagamu local government areas." End of quote. Earlier today, four persons lost their lives while three others sustained varying degrees of injuries in an accident on the Lagos Ibadan Expressway when a luxury bus rammed into a truck. The Public Relations Officer for the Ogun State Sector of the Federal Road Safety Corps, Florence Okwe, confirmed the incident in Abelkuta. Okwe stated that the truck did not stop after the bus rammed into it while negotiating a bend around the Kara access on the expressway. She added that 21 persons, 13 men and 8 women, were involved in the accident. She also said that the corpses have been deposited at a morgue in the Shagamu area of the state, while the injured have been taken to a nearby hospital. In sports news, Nigerian club Sporting Lagos shares spoils with Aqua United at the Gospel Aquabio International Stadium in Uyu. After two matches in the Nigerian Premier Football League, Sporting Lagos tops the table with four points. The club won their first game against Gombe on a 2-0 at the Mobalaji Johnson Arena before sharing spoils with Aqua United at the Goswe Apabio International Stadium in Uyo, Aqua Ibom State. In the entertainment scene, in a dazzling display of beauty and talent, Queen Tome emerged victorious in the highly anticipated Miss Ishambi beauty pageant. The pageant held as part of the 46th Ishambi Day celebration in Elishon Remo, Ogun State, was organized by the Elishon Youth Development Association with the theme of promoting sustainable development goals. The event took place on Friday, the 6th of October, 2023, at the Elishon Ultra Modern Town Hall. Quinton's stunning performance and captivating presence captured the hearts of the judges and audience alike, and in her the coveted title. As the winner, she was awarded a generous prize of 500,000 naira, along with other exciting gifts. Our triumph serves as an inspiration to the youth of Elishon, showcasing the potential for success and achievement within the community. The event not only entertained the audience, but also highlighted the importance of empowering youth and encouraging them to contribute to the growth and progress of their community. That is on the daily news updates. Do stay connected with us by following our social media platforms on Instagram, Facebook, X, Thread, and YouTube at Official Remo TV. You can also visit our website at www.remotv.com.ng. I'm Naomi Yeji. Thank you for watching and good night.